Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Aquarius. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's tap into Aquarians and their spirit guides. Mine as well to find out what messages you have, Aquarius, coming in. How you're feeling about your person. That's too many spirit, please. Just a couple. Thank you. Trip the light. Fantastic. Dance with the universe. All right. I feel like you're tapped in. We have number five here. So this may be a change of events coming through for you. Let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius, please, in the messages, about how they feel about their person. For this you were born, foster your intentions for incarnation in this dimension. So you may need to have some type of manifestation or your intentions of what you are planning to do here. This may be that uh, spirit guides are trying to get you to do something in particular here. Maybe this is what you've signed up for as uh, when you incarnated to this lifetime or this dimension, you may have um, may have had some type of I'm getting a contract here. Tell me about this. Ooh, okay, we'll take them anyway. But thin, thin veil. Wow, let go and let glow. This is for your wish fulfillment with number nine. Your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are trying to get you to go in a particular way or a certain mindset here. So, and that is to let go of whatever's not good for you and embracing um, whatever is good for you and uh, coming in. Wow, you've won the lottery. Make room for wonderment. What? What? Wow. This is your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides that are saying, you know, now, whether it's the material part of this or won the lottery in a person in love, it's whatever you are manifesting for yourself. Maybe you are looking for money. Maybe you are looking for a person here. Mm, this is an ally in disguise. You may have not discovered this person. Maybe this is, yeah. oh, you know what I'm getting? This is somebody you know, okay, that you may be finding hard to find. Maybe they moved away, but they are the blessing. You may be needing to find somebody here where you have been trying to find somebody here. They may have moved and maybe you don't know where they moved to. Let's see here. The thin, thin veil. Yeah, let go and let glow. So you're going to have an ally that you may know who they are, but you may not know where they live. Wow, this is beautiful. So let's see here. Knights of the Round Table, let their love lift you higher. This is number nine once again. You're going to find that bliss, that beautiful fulfillment that you've been looking for, that nearing the end of that cycle where fulfillment um, and that universal love, you're attaining what you needed. You made it, okay? You made it to number nine. That's so beautiful. This is something that's really going to make you happy. And with number nine, this is uh, contentment. This is a sense of well-being or achievement here. You may even be single here. So let's see here. If you're not, um, through the lottery here, I feel like you have somebody that you can trust around you or you know of somebody, even if you can't find them. Maybe you know they exist or um, you just might not. You may have lost touch with this person. Okay, let's just see here. Maybe they blocked you or you blocked them, or maybe there was some kind of something or other here that happened. Let's see. Are they on the same page? This is, They're really feeling like you may be the person that is fantastic that they were born for. Now, let's see. Maybe this person knows you have gifts, like you're special, you're rare. I feel like this person may, maybe you're spiritual and you know uh, and have that connection with spirit. I feel like they feel like they've won the lottery here. 
finding the path. I feel like this is still finding you. Maybe they don't know where you live. Maybe they they may have some idea where you are, but they don't know exactly where you are, how to get a hold of you. You are the driver and the navigator. So I feel like they're trying to find that path to you. Now, this may be something that is taking a while is kind of what I'm getting. Are they on the same page? They're trying to find you. They're trying to find that path here. They're trying to navigate it. Do not be frustrated. Let go and feel peaceful. So you may be feeling frustrated that they haven't come in yet. I feel like by letting that go and finding peace in yourself, um, this is what's really going to bring this in. Living your truth of whatever you're doing in your life. You're kind of staying in your own lane, concentrating on you. You're not worried about love or anything else coming in. You're just kind of doing what you're doing. And if it is meant to come in, it will. And I feel like or they're going to let you know what the next step is. It's kind of being frustrated isn't going to help the process is kind of what I'm getting here. So this person is on the same page maybe they are um i'm kind of getting aquarius that they may be frustrated uh i'm getting that this may even be you that's frustrated um letting go and finding peace here yeah there's that transformation they let love transform you forever and i feel like when you do find this person aquarius this is going to transform how you feel about love this is going to be a love that you've never had before this is like a healthy relationship here this may be somebody you really wanted to be with uh for maybe a long time um Ah, you're going to find your life purpose through this person as well. You're going to seek your own deeper vision for your life. This person may inspire you to do this. I'm getting that maybe they are focusing on their life right now. Aquarius, that may be what's going on here. Um, they may feel, you may feel that they're, they're, uh, they're the bomb. <laughs> they're, they're, God's gift to life is kind of what I'm getting here. And you might be finding the path. You might be a little frustrated on the on things, how things are going. But you're going to find your own life purpose through uh, seeking your own deeper vision of life. So are you on the same page as this person? I feel like you are. You might even be mirroring this person. Wow. They may be looking at their own life here and staying in their own lane. And I feel like that is exactly what you're doing right here. Um, this is kind of a, this looks like a twin flame. I, I, I've been getting a lot of twin flame readings lately. And when I pick up on it, it ends up coming in on these cards or uh, elsewhere or even in the bag. So self-creation, be the author of your own life. So this is essentially saying, Whatever your life purpose is, uh, you're going to manifest that self-creation. You you know who you are. You are the author of your own life. And you. I feel like you're the driver and the navigator. You're going to find that path of whatever your gifts are. Like we're all given gifts. Some people never find what they were ever really good at, their talent or whatever they were meant to be doing. Deal with the unexpected. Treat the unforeseen as a thriving uh, or divine offering. Sorry. Treat the unforeseen as divine offering. So don't fear the unknown. Embrace it and accept it. Have faith that whatever's coming in for you, Aquarius, is something that is going to be way better than you ever expected, is kind of what I'm getting with that make friends friendship is the alchemy of success now this may be this friend here this ally in disguise that's going to help you with your um number four which is your stability so maybe they have some type of authority or some type of order of of how to do something maybe they know i'm getting like um some type of evaluating something here it's like it's almost like um people are going to help you in ways that you hadn't thought they would 
concealed power give birth to the wonder of revelation now i feel like this is something that maybe has been kept from you there might be people around you that may come forward and tell you something that you didn't know something was concealed or you're concealing who you really are or what you really want instead of going after it is kind of what i'm getting give birth to the wonder of revelation so something might be revealed to you and you are going to go after whatever this is what is this it may have something to do with the friendship. Oh, what did I deal with the unexpected? Right. That was still part of that. Yes. All right. So are there any people in the way of this connection? Now, maybe this is what I was picking up on here. Letting go of certain people, in, maybe in your life here that aren't good for you. With the 26, that is number eight. This may have something that you're needing to fine tune, take action on. Maybe you need to see. Uh, maybe you get messages on. It's going to help you um, make certain moves in your life here, whether it's letting somebody go or uh, realizing something is not good for you. Healing. Yeah, you're going to you might let this person go or this group of people go because you're needing to heal. There's some healing needing to be done here, maybe from a group of people. Maybe this has something to do with the growth or your self-expression, being able to be who you really are without uh, feeling bad for your way you see things or um, maybe your, the way you talk or communicate. So I feel like there's lighthearted communication coming through here for you. Let's see, maybe it has something to do with these friends or this um, ally here that's in disguise. Having faith, 22, you may be worried about what's coming through or what's going to happen, but having faith, having letting go of people, even if it's more than one person you're having to let go of, this is part of the awakening and this is part of understanding that by being on this journey of healing any wounds and it's just going to propel you to the next level, um, it's growth and it's going to help you mature, it's going to help you evolve and it's going to help you find your next part of what you're meant to be doing here now having that faith in the divine or spirit or whoever you believe in i feel like this is really going to um help move things along for you by trusting that things of a good nature are coming in you may have you may feel bad right now or needing to pour your emotions into pages i have this for another reading too um dig a hole light it up um rip it out of the book first off whatever pages that you poured all your heart into about um negative energy or um how you're feeling or what people have done to you or whatever it is um burning that and letting that go leaving that baggage and burying it up those ashes and I feel like whatever is plaguing you from the past is needing to let that go so you can move forward for yourself, for your own benefit here, for your own um, life to come and evolve here. Tell me about if there's anyone in the way. Pay attention to the signs. There's that closing out here. I feel like you might have let somebody go uh, maybe it was this ally. Maybe you let somebody go or walked away from somebody. You're, they may have gone unhealed. Maybe you're going to heal. You might have realized that maybe you let go of somebody here, that maybe you're seeing something around you, though. So I feel like maybe you feel like you let the wrong person go. What is this? Self-love. Yeah. Maybe somebody told you they needed to heal themselves that they had issues they needed to heal i feel like whatever maybe you're picking up on some signs for your own self-healing here and maybe you're planning to heal yourself here this is number six of course this is balancing and restoring peace maybe you had a little bit of a tiff with this person or 
There's still signs we saw here. Something's ended out here. You're doing your self-love, though. So whatever healing this is, this may have been someone else that uh, let you go or you let go of and they've healed. Maybe they are with the divine. Maybe they are spiritual. Maybe you're seeing some signs here about people around you. Maybe you're needing to do your own self-love here and realizing that. Yeah, you're going to take off your mask. You're going to be authentic here. Maybe you uh, weren't really being authentic uh, when it came to especially a group of people here. Alchemy. Now, I feel like you may be able to transmute, transcend, or uh, transfer energy here uh, in a good way. Um, taking that energy and making it work for you, not against you. And I feel like this is where anything that's ill intention coming towards you, you're taking that energy and harnessing that energy and you're transmuting it and changing it into something beautiful that's going to help you in a way that wasn't designed to do so when it first came in. You've changed that energy. Let's see here. What is going on, or your person did, to take it however it resonates. So this may be somebody in your life that, I don't know, you're, it's kind of hard to read here because it, it looks like you've let something go. They may have done some healing. They maybe had faith that maybe whatever this is might change. Uh, or they didn't let you go as a friend. Um, maybe there was a tiff. Maybe you're seeing signs that you needed to see about your own self-love and your own authenticity. So whatever these signs were, you you let something go here. Somebody is an alchemist here, whether that's you or them. You're, you're kind of both on the same path here. So I'm kind of almost feeling like that twin flame, like I said before. Maybe you're both alchemy, you have alchemist um, type of energy here transforming energy into something beautiful what's your heart saying about this after meeting this person or reconnecting with them if this is somebody from your past that was a friend dreams you're going to share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality i feel like you may have already started on that or your person did somebody here um has already started something here they know they were born to do something this is how you're feeling about this person. Maybe they um, have gifts with the divine. Uh, perhaps they made it. Maybe they got through and did something great. Maybe they won the lottery or maybe they won the lottery of whatever they set out to do. Um, this ally in disguise, I feel like they're a blessing and... Uh, let your love lift you higher. I feel like this person here, maybe your wish fulfillment here, somebody, maybe you let them go. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm kind of getting a couple different things here. So it's, you may have somebody in, oh, okay, okay. Somebody may have made you feel like you couldn't be who you truly are. Now, maybe you've been wearing a mask for a long time, and maybe this person has always been authentic or has uh, taught you to be authentic, or maybe that's what they're doing is being their authentic self. They don't care what anybody else thinks about them. They're doing their life the way they want to do it. And I feel like this may be cues to you, Aquarius. Maybe you are seeing somebody glow up. Maybe you're seeing maybe this little tip that maybe you had. Maybe you're seeing signs in other people. Maybe you put an end to that and let somebody go here that were friends. I feel like you're really um, embracing who you are. And you're not caring what anybody else thinks. And I feel like this is indicative of that twin flame here. Now, you may be sharing your dreams or that somebody shared their dream with you of what they were going to do and maybe they're making a good success of this what is this tell me what your heart feels ah there may have been a temptation here to maybe you took the temptation maybe your person took a temptation here it's saying to think carefully about the situation yeah 
you need to look deep within your emotions. I feel like you may have um, been tempted away from this person. Uh, what I was getting earlier here was that perhaps somebody was in the way of this beautiful twin flame here. They may have been jealous of what was going on here. There's huge emotions between the two of you, whoever this twin flame is. It's almost like a denial here. What is the denial here? Tell me about this denial about this person. Guilt. Mm. Yeah, you may have said, maybe there was a little tiff here. There was, don't let guilt get in the way of your happiness. And I feel like this isn't going to stop you from either going forward to being with this person, or you're not going to let this guilt um, get in the way of going after what you want. So, I, I don't know. Tell me about the guilt. Why is the guilt here? You kind of feel like it may have been just because of... I'm not going to take all those. Ah, recognition. Ah, okay. So it's recognition. The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. There's a blessing here, and this may be what Spirit's trying to get you to see. Cupid's arrows in the air here. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. So they, you may have been hit by the arrow of love when it comes to somebody here. You know your story. You know who this might be. Just remember this is a general reading. Just take what resonates. Leave the rest. Wow, true love. Hello. Now, true love comes in when you least expect it. So you may not be expecting this person to come through. Wow, that's okay. I'll take them. Oh, there's only three here, I guess. All right. We, oh, telepathic. We have somebody that you may be um, talking with that you may not even realize. They may be feeling and picking up on things from you. Wow, synchronicities. Maybe you're seeing some signs. There's a relationship is a blessing here. And your soul is preparing to reconnect with this. <laughs> so Aquarius, trust the process of this recognition or this reconciliation or this reconnecting. Watch for the signs leading you to true love. And you have the true love here. So somebody here is true love to you. And I feel like you're really going to need to look within yourself of who that might be. You're going to recognize who it might be. So we didn't do here um, how this can be resolved. So you may be feeling some guilt here. So let's see how we can resolve this problem. Maybe of uh, walking away from somebody or needing to walk away from someone to come in for your true love. Let's see. Yeah, you might have to travel to where this person lives. Maybe you don't live there. Oh, you might be on a vacation and meet them. There's courage here and bravery. So I feel like you're going to need to have some type of courage to come forward for this person. Yeah, you're going to need to trust that spirit has the best interest in for you here. You're going to have to trust that whatever's coming is um, going to lead you to that wish fulfillment here. Yeah, there might be a lot of passion for this person when you meet them. Maybe you have always been passionate about this person. Yeah, there we go. There's that peace of mind. This person may be already in that peace of mind mindset. You may be picking up on um, peace within your life here. You're going to have that, um, again, that peace of mind is kind of what I'm getting here that balance and um, tranquility, that kindness and love and I got you is kind of the feeling I'm getting here. Yeah, you might have animals already in your life or when you meet this person, they may have animals. Let's see here, what else? Tell me about how this can be resolved. Commitment. <laughs> Committing to each other. I'm getting maybe you're looking for commitment. Maybe they're looking for commitment. I feel like you need to trust that this is 
um, something that's going to really be something of value here. I'm just going to take one more. Yeah, you have a spirit guide coming through that might be trying to pull you into this person. One more. Blessings. I told you this person was a blessing being brought through into your life. Maybe you didn't recognize that at first, but I feel like you will be soon. Uh, there's something that you're going to grow here. Maybe even um, if if you've already started something here of a business or uh, some kind of hobby or venture. Uh, I feel like whatever this is here coming through for you, Aquarius, uh, it's going to grow with fertility here. So now maybe you have somebody that's uh, pregnant here. So take it however it resonates. Now, I'm kind of getting this may be why you're not coming forward right away or letting something go here. You're seeing some signs here, though, and you're doing the self-love. I feel like, let's see, I, I don't know why I'm getting that. Maybe you already have children here. Maybe a person does. What's going on? Tap into primal power, number four. This has to do about your stability here. Um, you might be evaluating and looking at what values you have the structure you want to have for maybe your life. You're manifesting something here, or you have done already. Primal power, you can tap into that to really try to bring things forward here. Tell me about what your soul is saying about this person that is meant for you here, your twin flame. Tell me about that person. We have practice daily, so maybe you're needing to practice this. This is going to bring in your abundance or this blessing that you have here, which may be somebody that's won the lottery here. Honor the cycles, adorn the temple, be magnetized, and come back to center. Okay, so you may need to honor the cycles of change, things that may be changing in your life and honoring that that this change is for your highest and greatest good is what I'm getting here. This is going to bring in new, beautiful things for you if you let this happen. Adorn the temple, and that is taking care of self. This is that self-love, eating better, um, maybe getting rid of any of addictions that you might have or um, any um, things that you're doing that aren't good for you uh, or for your body. Maybe the way you eat or this is going to bring into uh, being able to connect better with spirit. I'm getting is the way you treat your body. Be magnetized. Number six, this is to do with that balance being restored. You're magnetizing your energy to bring this person towards you or you are being pulled towards this person. Come back to center. And this is really essentially going back into that orb of white light and being grounded to the earth and it's almost like a rebirth it's like um becoming who you were always meant to be here it's like being magnetized where you're protecting yourself you're protecting your energy you may even be doing the hermit at this point let's see tell me what your soul is saying about this person maybe this is what they're doing maybe that's why you can't find them is they might be doing the hermit they may not be out and about much they may not be out in the um anywhere where people are consciously complete nice so spiritually even reflecting on your journey what risk versus the reward and a sense um uh, assessing and having that logic and getting that knowledge coming up through the earth you may need to tap into earth energy maybe this person is an earth energy maybe you have a lot of earth energy within yourself but this is essentially saying you're going to move ahead so this is going to be a better life than what you have now you're moving into the next stage kind of what i'm getting there so good for you this is something that you're embracing yes number nine you're going to be a channel here and this may be something your person is too 
I feel like with this dance with the universe, this person may have that channeling as well. This may be something you're both tapping into and realizing that there's a change coming here when it comes to your number nine, which is your cycle ending uh, fulfillment coming in. I feel like you've been very tolerant to uh, all of that's been happening to you. I feel like you're, you tolerate a lot more than you should. Maybe staying with people longer than you should have. <laughs> yeah, you're going to fine tune things here. I feel like with number 33 here, there's that looking at that. That looks like a twin flame to me. I feel like you're going to mirror each other here. You're going to fine tune whatever this is and maybe even fine tune how you channel to spirit might end up being uh, psychic mediums or something along those lines. You may both be psychic mediums or have some type of spiritual, I'm getting gifts here. All right, we have retreat and recharge. Yeah, after you channel, I feel like you need to realize that you need to rest and recharge your body because it will drain you of somewhat of putting all that energy, even in you can transmute it with the alchemy. I feel like it's still that work to connect with spirit always, always will drain you to a certain point, no matter how, how, um, how much you have for uh, protection around you, it doesn't matter. It's still a draining effect to anyone and everybody. So anyone that says they're not drained from connecting with spirit is lying as far as I'm concerned because it takes a toll on your body. No matter how much you put towards uh, protecting your energy and even calling it back and transmuting it into love and light and or transmuting it into your own self once again and pulling it all back it only does it to an extent so it may recharge you somewhat to be who you were before you started this channeling but it always takes a toll on the body so no matter what you will be tired after this you'll need time to recharge so let's see here what is your spirit within saying about this person that spark that shining light that you have within you all right, so you want to put down roots with this person with the number eight. This may be something that you want to take action towards. You might want to achieve this or fine tune this. I feel like you're seeing yourself with this person and you might want to send a message to them or they're going to message you. There's some type of movement here. Yeah, you want to explore this connection with the number seven. Um, we have eight and seven still. I feel like... Um, this might taking root maybe to do with whatever you are doing here, traveling towards somebody, and this is a true love. So I feel like you want to put roots down with this person. So you're fine tuning and you're exploring. You might explore who this person is or what they're doing. You want me trying to find this person. Let's see. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just, <laughs> everything's just like, <laughs> So yeah, there's your intuition with your stability. I feel like this is gonna help with your structure. You're gonna build something really great with this person. This is going to affect your stability, your structure. You're building that foundation with this person. Yeah, you're aligning with this energy. Uh -huh. And this is a friend. You're gonna, okay, you're getting guidance towards this friend to align with them. Now, some karma is ending for you or your person, some type of karma was in the way of this. And I feel like that is being cleared away with the number 10. Wow, this is beautiful. So you are being guided towards this friendship that you had this ally in disguise, okay? You may have uh, had some karma uh, from letting this person go. You may have realized this was your person and it may have scared you because this is a true love. There's a telepathic thing here. There's some type of connection here and somebody got in the way of it, okay? Because you may have let them go and you chose the wrong person. You started seeing signs and you started towards um, maybe uh, doing yourself love. You took off your mask and you transmuted. So it looks like you're trusting the process 
and you're looking at commitment when it comes to this true love. There's signs everywhere maybe pulling you and letting you know that this person is your person. It's undeniable is what I'm getting. You're, you're maybe um, ignoring the signs for a while there. Now, this may have uh, prolonged things or made things uh, stop and delay. Yeah, needing to rest after labor. So I feel like um, maybe if there is a baby here, maybe it is after a baby comes into the world that you find this true love. Um, maybe just co-parent with this person. Maybe you find out that baby isn't even yours is kind of what I'm getting. And I am going to pause for a second to grab that one off the floor. Okay, so what I got here that was on the floor, got hair on it or something. All right, uh, 22, vitality. This is your ascended master saying you are strong, you can endure this karma, and you can move forward. I, I feel like this is kind of this karma ending, and you've made it through. You, you know, you got that um, strength where you're able to kind of move forward now that this karma is done that may have been why it was so delayed let's see here what is the outcome after getting back together with this person or meeting them up meeting up once again i feel like you're both different people than what you used to be especially with you having your uh upgrade here oh don't you dare get on the floor again <laughs> all right flying free the unfurl my wings and fly. I feel like you're on cloud nine with this. This may be something you've been wanting to do for a while. Yeah, you've been looking deeper within. I feel like this is, um, you see this person as a jewel. You may have always seen this person as being very majestic or having that radiance of that love outpouring for you. Listen to your heart or listen with your heart. Trust messages I received from my heart. Maybe you haven't been following your heart here. Yeah, you're going to make a difference. My inner light shines far and wide. Or this could be your person's beacon I'm getting. It, it could be that you both uh, have some type of beacon or star within you. Sharing yourself. I am incredible, generous being. So you may be very generous, Aquarius. You're a humanitarian. So with being an Aquarius, you're very analytical, very smart. You're humanitarian. You might be a little unconventional about certain things, but you're very independent. And I feel like you don't like to be tied down, which why commitment might be an issue. Or if it's not because of being tied down, it's, um, I'm getting, you don't like to be told what to do. And I feel like your person is the same way. You want that free will. So I feel like um, in this connection here, it's going to be a whole different ball game than what you're used to. Your person isn't going to get into your lane. They're going to stay in their own lane. They're not going to worry what you're not doing or what you're doing. They're going to be worrying about nothing. They're just being in the flow. They don't have any worries. They're just going to accept that things are going to be in their favor and things are going to be great. They're not pessimistic. They're very positive about the outcome. So I feel like they are, um, whoever this is that I'm picking up on, uh, it's very beautiful energy, very pure at heart I'm getting. This is somebody that is going to uh, treat you with respect, accept who you are. I'm getting that this person may even be an earth angel. I don't know why I'm getting that. Earth sign, earth angel, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. Letting go. I surrender joyously to the ebb and flow of life. You're getting into the flow of things with this person and that you're letting things go of expectations and trusting in each other that you're going to come through for one another. And that is what it's kind of all about is having that trust within, not nagging that person of what they're not doing. Stay in your own lane. And if you're looking outside of yourself that's when you need to go back to center and look within maybe there's something you need to work on of why you are looking out of the lane in the first place so if you aren't concentrating on you 
and you're concentrating on what they're not doing and what they need to be doing and you think you know better than what this person needs to do, that's when you need to come back to center and think about what you're doing within yourself that needs to change for you to stay in your own lane. Now, when I say that, I just mean that concentrating on self. You can't change um, other people. Uh, you're doing you. They have free will, just like you do. You wouldn't want somebody to be telling you what you had to do all the time. You would want them to trust in you that you're going to come through for them as well. So it's having that respect for one another's emotions, their feelings and who they are and accepting them for who they are. Um, it's not about what they can give you. This is all about being a team player, working together for uh, a cause that you're both going to benefit from. We have emerging into grace. I open my soul to grace. I feel like this ebb and flow. You two are going to get on the same page. Whoops. Accepting what is. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. So this is kind of telling me that um, <clears throat> this is going to be fantastic for you. I feel like this is what you've always been looking for in a partner. Somebody that isn't going to be nag, nag, nag on you who uh, is confident in self that they aren't sitting there going what are you doing where are you going when are you going to be back blah 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 it's going to be something of a different dynamic for you you're not going to want to leave this person <laughs> in actually in all actuality um you may even be wondering what they're doing so it's like um a really different dynamic between the two of you i feel like um what I'm getting here is like, if you were to say it's over for this person, I got this before too. It's like, if you were to say it's over, they'd be like, okay, uh, that's how you feel. See you later. You know, uh, the loss is yours <laughs> kind of thing. They're not one to chase you. They're not one to um, try to make you stay. They don't play games. They're there. They want a commitment. They want to find their forever person. Maybe, um, maybe they're older in, in their life. Maybe they're, um, maybe they're looking at that ruler of where they are on that ruler. Maybe they're already halfway past that ruler and they know they only have so much time left. They're serious about finding their forever person. So this kind of, even if they're young, um, I'm feeling like that's the goal here is they're going to, live their own life, stay in their own lane, do them, have that self-love for them. They're also going to be compromising with their partner, right? About things. They're not going to be just selfish or whatever. They're going to give and, but they're going to want to have that received. Maybe they've been always one to give too much. So they may pull back a bit. So they receive some things as well. They're not going to be always the one that gives. And I feel like this is part of a dynamic here that is so unbelievable because you, this is somebody that takes your emotions into account. They, they value who you are. And I feel like this may be new for you, Aquarius. So what I see here is something uh, you need to be looking at the signs. You, you may be really feeling this person. You may be dreaming about this person or they are dreaming about you. There's something going on here that's going to change for you. You're both going on the same path here. So I feel like if it's not the same right away, it you follow right behind them. So it's like, or they follow behind you. It's, it doesn't matter who started their journey first. It's like whatever they're doing mirrors to you and you start doing the same thing. It's kind of like a strange dynamic here with that twin flame. So let's quickly do this. Oh, 43 minutes. Doesn't matter how fast I try to go. I get those messages and that's just how it ends up being. Wow, there's a lot of messages here transparency and truth i feel like this person that you are your ally here that's hidden they expect transparency and truth they don't they don't like it when people lie to them that this may be a, a getting a game changer for them they are not going to like a liar they're going to want to be able to trust somebody's word and uh 
there's some inner work that may need to be done with that for you or them. December may have been of significance or will be. This is a true love with the twin flames. So this is really what's coming out here for me with the, the same cards coming through here. True purpose in life will be revealed. And I feel like whatever this is, this the, whatever you're meant to be doing, you're going to, it's something you're both meant to be doing together. It's like a quest that spirit has for you that you're meant to do. And you're going to have to trust the process. You make me so happy. This person is going to make you so happy. You're going to make this person happy. Something's going to happen in March, July. You do not know me well. So this may be just a friend, maybe an acquaintance. You are seeing something here. So maybe you're seeing something that is amazing. October is here. We have something coming through in summertime, big time here. So July is coming through huge here with two butterflies. This may be when you get together with this person. Now we have Libra here. So maybe in October or September here, maybe the third. Looks like uh, October 3rd might be of significance or October 4th. I'm getting July 4th. I don't know why I'm getting that. February. So, yeah, January, February. So February is Aquarius season. January, February is Aquarius season. So you're coming out in your own reading. You hold the answers or your person does. Maybe they are an oracle or a prophet. Maybe they told you something about some type of fertility coming through here. Cancer season, July is right here. This is of some type of uh, importance and so is October. So these two things here are really important with the July and October here and third or fourth here of these days I'm getting... Um, Let's see, we have intuition on cloud nine and cloud nine. <laughs> this is beautiful because you're both going to feel like you're flying You're on cloud nine. It's just going to be amazing. A whirlwind romance is what I'm getting. There's stability here. You're going to have wishes granted. This person may be an earth person. I was getting earth angel earlier, so that's funny that's come through. Let's see, we have November, December. So we have December here. Maybe Scorpio season is important here. And we have Aries season and March to April. So, wow, this is really beautiful. Maybe you have Aries or they have Aries in their chart. Maybe you have Aries in yours. We have a T in the name, an N or an M. Let's see, or uh, is that another N or a Z? N, okay. M, N, M, N, N, <laughs> N, N, M, T, M. What are we getting here? M, T, M, N, M, T, M, N, T, N, N, T. Maybe this has to do, what am I getting here? I'm getting November. Their first or last name may start with an M. There is some type of communication coming through here with the bird. And it looks like... Maybe you find where they live. <laughs> Maybe you end up moving in together in Aries season or you're coming through in February. It's getting that. Maybe in March is where you find out where they live. March, Aries season. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. This is beautiful, though. You're finding your person, Aquarius. <laughs> this earth angel. Or maybe they have earth really dominant in their chart. Or maybe you have earth dominant in your chart. Take it however it resonates here. 
Wow, this is really beautiful, Aquarius. Of course, it's almost 50 minutes. So <laughs> Um, I'm going to leave it here, but if you do want to get a free reading, my free reading giveaway worth this, it's worth $100. It's 45 minutes long and it's all about you and your person. I send it to you via email. <clears throat> it's sort of like what you see here, except for it's geared towards you. It's all about you and um, your person. So I do a reading for you and it's personalized. So if you have any questions, I try to fit those in with the reading. Um, sometimes I just go with whatever the cards are saying that want to come through because sometimes it wants to tell you what you need to hear, not necessarily what you want to hear. Okay, so that is my reading for you, uh, Aquarius. Also, um, how you go about getting this reading, this free reading from me. You go to my community tab on my channel and scroll down to some of the posts that are there. And it's going to say how to win a free reading or the free reading giveaway or something along those lines. Click on that and it will give you all the information on how to go about trying to win the free reading. Um, all right, you guys, if you want to donate, of course you can in the PayPal account in the description box or which is on the more button, or you can go to the three dots and there's a super thanks there if you want to go that way. Or just watching the videos is so much thank you, thank you, and thank you for that. Sharing and liking absolutely is so awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you, of course. And if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing and becoming part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed, of course, and we will see you next time. Later.